Today, we're evaluating Flex Paste, and we're gonna put it to task. We're not gonna give it some commercial test on a boat or a whiskey barrel. Those are kind of easy. We're gonna put it up against the plastic surface of a rain barrel and 400 pounds of pressure. And making patches on something all these other competitors have failed. Will Flex Paste succeed? or will it go down in flames just like these others? Interested? Here we go. We're getting into the growing season and I hate using city water, even though we have filters, I'd rather use rainwater. In a previous video that I'll post up there and down below, I tried flex glue, flex tape, gorilla tape that was supposedly better than the flex stuff, all failed. And then last night I found this. Flex paste. I know. Is it going to work? It comes both in black and white. I haven't decided which one I'm going to use yet, but we got to give it a shot. My last video was pretty popular, so just have to try again. But before we do that, let me show you the results of the previous video a year or so later. This is the Gorilla Patch right here. This is the Flex Glue, which was the second attempt to seal this up. And I had a Gorilla Patch on the inside. The crack goes from here. You can see right here where it kind of leaks through. Here's the inside of the barrel. You can see that the crack goes from here all the way to here. I took off the Gorilla Glue patch and I'm probably gonna clean that up just a little bit so that we give Flex Paste this best chance of adhering. This was Flex Tape a year later. You can see that it's all failed and it's kind of deteriorated significantly. This time, the approach is to do the work on the inside. Yeah, see, this is coming off in pieces. At least the Gorilla Tape was really hard to pull off. And you can see right here that there's some algae growing in there. It's just not good. Well, maybe I'll just leave that on there to protect it. I liked the clear flex tape because I wanted it cosmetically to look a little better. And then I found a crack here and a crack here. So we'll turn the barrel right side up and I'll point out what the other side looks like. Using a permanent marker, I went in here and did some outlining of where the cracks are. Right here, there's one right here. And then this is the original crack right here. So those are the ones I'm gonna be hitting with flex paste. Using the marker, it allows you to kind of give a target of where you're gonna to have to start the flex paste and where you're gonna stop. Hi there, I'm just gonna step in here. This is future self talking about what older self did. This time, compared to when I used the other Flex products, I just went in here and did a whole bunch of scoring. I tried sanding it, and maybe that's gonna do it, but see how soft this plastic is? Just some light scoring in here to kind of give a frame for the Flex paste to adhere to. I just couldn't show it well inside the barrels. Putting in that line over the crack was absolute key because when I did the pasting, that ensured that I got a overlap and completely covered the crack. Once you start putting that paste down, it's really hard to tell where you're at. And having a line as a target was absolutely essential to patching the area successfully. Couple hints as you open this thing up. First of all, you got this lid here and you have a dry silicon pack. And then you have this stop. Do not discard this foil, read directions. So I read the directions and this is key to keeping this stuff from drying out. So what you do when you finish with this is you just put that on top and then put the silica and then I'm just gonna have this down and the cap on. <laughs> Sometimes setting up the shot is the hardest thing about the repair. So I'm gonna get a good helping of that on there and I'm just gonna slurry it on. Now I don't wanna do that because that's where the water comes out. So I'm gonna clean that off and I'm gonna go over the black mark and thicken it up. It's kind of like a very thick marshmallow frosting and I'm probably putting on more here than I need. I've used half of the container for four repairs. That's not bad. It's much easier to use than the tape or even the glue. And I spread it on there pretty thick. You probably don't have to do it that thick. I don't want to take any chances. I'm done with this project. I want it to work. The rain barrels are $80 a piece, brand new. These aren't new, but to replace them, that's how much it's going to cost me. So $13 for this or $26 or whatever, you can get it on Amazon. It's well worth the price to fix these two rain barrels. I've pushed that 
aluminum piece down where it says stop, don't throw away. Put the silicon gel in there. Gonna put the top on. Turn it down tight. And hopefully it's not gonna dry out. It has dried out on people, but I'm not sure that they use this and that. Not too messy. The gloves, definitely wanna wear those, but not too much on there. But I think you're gonna sacrifice a scraper. The scraper, guess what? This stuff just peels right off. Now we're gonna fill these guys up with water and see if they hold. Several hours later and the water levels inside the rain barrels are at the same level. There's no sign of leaks. I do have to tighten up on this fixture here. It's leaking a little bit, but the side of the barrel is completely clean. That crack right here is actually looks like it's getting a little bigger because of the water pressure. And this guy down here is completely dry. So now we have to give it the ultimate test. And that means waiting for that rainstorm to come in and fill these barrels up. It's the next day and the water barrel is full with rainwater. That's why it's not completely clear. Let's look down here. It is a little damp here but around the bottom of this rain barrel. So this one was full and now it's not. And you can see here, huh, this rain barrel was all the way up to here. Now it's down to right about where the patch is. And I call this the ultimate test for a bunch of reasons. Number one, unlike the boat it's used in the commercial, it's using a wire frame. Or you have the whiskey barrel that's made out of wood and it doesn't have but so much water in it. It's a little impressive to hit it with an ax and then cover it up. But here's a test where this was completely full up to this level right here last night. And 12 hours later, it leaked through. And I put a lot of stuff on there. This crack has expanded. This patch that I put here before has kind of kept it all together. I guess that paste isn't as good as advertised. All right, we got an update. Patch failure, very disappointing. It held out for about 24 hours and now it's just seeping out right there. Yeah, right where the patch is, wet. You can see where it's been leaking out. Oh yeah, there's lots of water down there. So what's the bottom line here? I really wanted flex paste to work. I bought two kinds. I actually even made a little stand to give it kind of like the gold medal of all these other competitors. But in the end, it failed for the same reason that these guys failed. The plastic. Yeah, if you're going up against rough surface wood or you're using chicken wire, yeah, and you put enough on there anything works. I put what I considered a good bit on these patches. It just flexed enough with downward pressure, hundreds of pounds, that it failed. I wish it was a success story. These all cost about the same amount, around $13 if you buy it in the store. If you buy it online, it's twice as much. But the bottom line is, I can't recommend this product to you based on my results. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciated. Thanks for watching. So what do you think? Was I too hard on this product? If a product is going to claim exceptional things, it needs to work under all conditions and not just some wacky, strange ones that will give you the impression it works under all conditions. If you're interested in product evaluations, home repairs, sports builds, designs of all kinds, make it and breaking things. I even do costumes, props, and cosplay. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.